What's up guys, Twitchy here, and welcome to part three in the Arc Server Manager videos. Today we're going over the automatic management. Last video we went over administration, so if you need that, feel free to hop back into that video. This is a really small section, guys, so it's not going to take very long, so let's not waste any time and get into it. Okay, guys, as I said at the beginning, this is a very small section. Automatic management, there isn't a whole lot to it, but it has some pretty nice features. Auto start server, of course, is a really nice feature to have on boot because if you have a power outage and you have the machine set up to power on after a power outage, your server automatically comes back up, and it's just, it's handy, okay? Uh, shutdown, I like to do two shutdowns a day on my server. Uh, these are done in what we would call military time in the States. It's probably just world time, honestly, but you know, we use the, um, 12 to 12, but this is a zero, zero, zero to 1200. All right. So basically I like to have it shut down twice. It just freshens up the server. The perform update tab is nice. I mean, if you're running a modded server, I mean, I don't know how many of you been on modded servers, but there's nothing worse than like hopping onto a server or trying to hop onto a server and it telling you you have a mod mismatch. If you have perform update checked on this and you're running a modded server, every time the server restarts, it's going to update everything. It's going to update the mods. It's going to update the server and it's going to restart it. Now, that being said, um, it's up to you guys how you want to handle that. I just know that when I've ran modded servers in the past, it's been like a mod is updated at 11 o'clock at night and I'm in bed and then nobody gets on the, nobody can get on the server until like the next morning when I wake up and see a message. So again, that's something it could take a little bit of the hassle out, but it's not necessary. All right. This includes server and an auto backup cycle. I mean, it's nice to have and everything you're getting auto backups every 15 minutes anyway, though. I haven't really found a necessity for that one, but if you guys are like super cautious, you may want to do that one include in an auto update cycle. Again, that's something where you could have your server just do the automatic updates. I personally will do that in the shutdown and restart every 12 hours. So I'm not really worried about that. Um, and restart server if shut down, you can check that one. Um, but again, if it's something where you're shutting it down on purpose to, to work on it, you may not want it to restart. So I leave those three unchecked at the bottom there. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's the automatic management in a nutshell. There's not a whole lot more to it. So I hope you guys found it helpful and I hope you tune in for the next one. Have a good one.